Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be trying to hit 1600. I hear a while back, but I've, I've just been dipping into like even the 14 and 1500 range. So trying to get 1600 back today. We are one win away. We are two points off. So hope you hope you enjoy this. Right. Uh, before we get into it though, a uh, big thank you to Henke and Rob Healy uh, for supporting the channel and buying me a coffee. So cheers guys. It's paying for some food, some of my food shop now. All this buy me coffee love I'm getting, so it means the world, guys. So let's get to a 10 minute game on the roads 2000, right? I am scared. It's been, it must have been like six, eight months since I've been here. Let's get Rue Lopez. This is where I'm, I just feel at my most safe. <laughs> Even though I know absolutely no theory in it, I just tend to get all right positions. He says, Hope you're all well, guys. This guy doesn't seem to know what to do on the third move of the Rue Lopez. It's a bit odd. All right. So normally this comes, we slide back. No, okay. So we just reinforce in the center and this looks very symmetrical. So we're thinking about where to put this dark square bishop. I'm thinking about time as well. We've already got a decent time edge on this guy. He's very slow. Let's have a look at his this is game theory, guys. This is strats, right? Rapid is 1600, but he's, he doesn't play any blitz. Okay, so he's he's probably quite slow. Uh, it's whether we play this, but I did look at the theory. I played a game a few games ago, and this is the next move, I think, in theory. Because I've been playing this pawn out to get the knight behind the pawn, which is something you often do, but not in this case. Now, sometimes the engine does say to take there. I'm trying to play what the engine would do, you know? Because often I have it, I have the move in my head, which I want to play, and then I have the move which I know the engine would want me to play. So I'm going to try to do what the engine wants today. And get this win. Where do we put this bishop? It's not clear. But I do know one thing. In the Rue Lopez, this move is brutal. This pin. So they're chasing my bishop. There's nothing I can really do. Uh, I'm going to take with this pawn and open up my rook. Mm. Right, this looks like a juicy diagonal for my bishop, so I'm just going to put that there. And get that pre-moved. And then we've got a nice knight jump into the center on d5. Using the coordinates, guys, to try and sound <laughs> try and sound like a proper chess player. Come on. 1600. Come on. All right. 1598. Oh, where's this guy from? Chile, I think. Yeah. Got my flag knowledge going. So they are very far from castling, actually. Oh, that's a bad move. That's a bad move. All right. They're very far from castling, and they've just done a pointless pawn move into the center. We are going to crack things open now. This is where we get aggressive. Wait, we've not castled either. <laughs> uh, I need to castle. All right, one one slow move, and then we're gonna crack things open. I'm just aware of this fork uh, with these two pieces, but let's get castled, and then we're gonna crack. Uh, right, let's get a little sippy, guys. So I might do a video on how I got from fifteen hundred to sixteen hundred, which I've done over the last few days, mainly. I've played, hydrated, well-fed, and not tired. This is, yeah, the pressure looks good. Um, anything else? I don't see any other pawn break unless we slide to that. I think this gotta be this, gotta be this. Crack in the center, they are undeveloped. Yeah, yeah. I, I have heard, heard a few people in the comments saying, oh, they've dipped down. They were at 1,100, now they're at 1,000. It happens to us all, guys. You know, we're all just an average of our playing ability. Yeah. Some days we're happy. Some days we lose a lot. We're just an average of that. Uh, we take, we open the center up. This... Or do we crack more, but then push? They could close the center. I don't want them to close the center. Um, this knight protects this. I think we're going to start opening it up. Uh, I'm not quite sure where to go from here, though. 
Uh, so there's alignment issues uh, with the queens now. Uh, love to support that move, hitting the queen, embedding my bishop in there. Uh, bring in. Where can I put my queen? I'd love to dislodge this knight. I can play this just to lift the queen. It's a slow improving move, threatening this sacrifice in the future. They move bishop here. I could just... Oh, and castle. I could sacrifice on this square. Uh, maybe I move this knight and try and push this pawn. Take some space on the queen side. Uh, where would the knight go from there? It's not so clear. This pawn is annoying. I'd love to win this pawn. So we're a bit we're quite even on time, but I've been talking, so I can speed up if I need to, guys. I'm not sure if this guy can. Uh, how do we win this pawn? Give me there. That looks annoying. I'm just playing off this alignment issue. If this... The, the knight is defended though, and I don't see the way, a way they can attack that knight again. Therefore, I, I don't care about this, this pin. I'm just going to centralize this rook or this rook. This rook's already on a semi-open file, but... So maybe this one? My first instinct was this one though, I don't know why. Maybe I wanted this guy here if this... I love to push this f4 move. If I can move my knight and push f4, I, I always do it. So pressure here. They go here. We take. That would be a lovely quick win to get us to 1600, guys. I would love that. Um, they cannot castle because of their hanging piece. Uh, if this, if they take, we get check. And dislodge their king. That looks like a very interesting move. Um, just double check. They take. We take with check. Only move is this. And then we... I don't, I don't know what the continuation is, but we have dislodged their king, so it looks very interesting. Uh... Very fancy move coming up, guys. Let's try it. Hitting the queen. It could go like here, but then we'd have an annoying bishop in their territory. So I can take their queen, they take my queen, but I take here. And it's the same situation. I did check this in my head, guys. I did check. All right. That doesn't change the position, I don't think. They're struggling to castle. The castle, I just take their, their bad boy. Wow. Okay. It didn't want me coming in with check. So if this takes, this takes. Ooh. Hmm. What do we do? I mean, we can play this now. Trying to trade a rook. If this, the. Maybe we're slightly pinned. Maybe they add pressure. If this, they take, we take, they could have pressure, but we'd slide back. I think taking with the rook is absolutely fine. And if we, us taking their rook is a threat. It would dislodge their queen from the defense of the bishop, lose the bishop and lose the game. So I think rook has to take our rook here. And maybe we take and then pivot this way. They've got massive problems here, guys. How do they get castled? They've got to find a move like somehow defending the... Okay. If this... Here again. Um... We, we don't want to move the queen because that's all the pressure in the position on this square. This adds more pressure. Stops them castling. Ah... Uh... Yeah, we're definitely winning, guys. It's just now we've got to find a way to convert this pressure. 
This looks very nice. Shoving the queen in there. Pressuring everything. And most importantly, this pawn. This pawn falls, we get another piece into the attack, and I think black will be done. 1600, guys. Go <laughs> Right, I'm getting pumped. Uh, this is actually a big moment for me. I know I've beaten like 2,000 bots and stuff, but you know, it's all about that rapid rating. I've been playing too much Blitz as well, which has sent my, uh, sent my rapid off a bit, but let's not start celebrating yet. Right, this. Takes, takes. Don't see what that does for us. Still think this is the best move. Just checking. There's no, like, check or anything like that. Um... Do they have a good reputation to this? I don't see, I don't think they can move their pieces. Maybe they go for a queen trade. Oh, we don't want that. They defend the pawn, all right. Uh, but now the king side is open. What if we just start pushing on this knight? Uh, instinct, just playing on instinct. Um. That knight doesn't have a square to go to. Well, it can go there. <laughs> okay, so they stop that. Uh, can we break here? Oh, we're so close, guys. Where's the win? We are so close to breaking through. Um, if... Mm, this is mate, if we can just literally move the knight. Uh, this... They take, we get check, and all the pawns fall, and we're just bringing another piece. Bosh. Guys, I'm scared. Three minutes left. Pre-move. Yeah, it's been like, I think six or eight months since I've been, we'll have a look at the stats maybe after this game. Six or eight months since I've been at this rating. What have they got here? I didn't see that they've got much. You know, if we... I mean, this hits the rook, threatens mate. Is there an instant win? Uh, there's this check. They cannot block it. If here... We get this... Oh god, right, three minutes. Sorry, the light's in my face, guys. Uh, turn it down a bit. Right, uh... Concentrate. Check this. I'm I'm veering towards this because it hits the the rook. I don't know what they do. We've not got a check. We're hitting the rook. We're threatening all sorts of nastiness here. Just checking. I'm just like triple checking that this isn't check because it would win the queen. Hitting the rook. Maybe coming back for this pawn. All the pawns look like they're gonna fall. We've got this move maybe coming. We don't want to let the king get out there. This is a threat. Just threatening to win the queen. Although rook into poses. But then we could have... I think they've got to play rook here. In that case. Oh wow, they don't. Okay. Uh, this is a check. They've got to go here, and then we get... I'm not sure. Wait, if this... No, we can just we can literally just take, because cause, uh, queen has to take, and then we win the rook, right? They've not got any checks after that. Queen takes, we win the rook. If king takes, the king can't take. If this... No, I think I think we grab the rook, right? Uh, if this, what's the score? We are even on material, but now we're just up a rook. Threatening this. Oh, that's too slow. No, you can't just take a pawn like that, man. You cannot just take a pawn greedily like that. You, <laughs> you've got to fa try and defend the position. Come on. I feel insulted. <laughs> right. So king has to go here and then we get on the back rank and things are falling apart, right? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Have a look at my stats after this game, I need to remember. Thank you to all my supporters, guys. We're, hitting, we're gonna hit 1600 again. Come on! How long has it been? Let's have a look. Right. Oh, it's been so long. I'm now 97.3 percentile. Top 3% again. Get in. Right. Rapid. Last one year. I'm going to do a yearly update. It's, I've nearly been playing chess a year now. Started out in the 900s. Went quickly up to like 14 and then had a jump to 16. This is when I was absolutely grinding every day, guys, to be fair. I was playing like maybe 10 games a day. And then... This is when the YouTube channel started, and I was doing a lot of blitz and bot content and other stuff. So this has been like my consolidation phase of learning, and now I'm trying to make another push upwards. So I think I can hit my all-time high, and I'm going to try in the next few days. So there's going to be a video coming shortly on the highlights of my 1500, 1600 climb in the last week. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. See you next time. Like and subscribe.